Yeah, that is correct. Hi, HWE 140. Hey, um, I just wanted to reach out to you, send a little video about uh, discussions for the first week. You guys did fabulous. Um, there were a few of you that missed a point here or there. And um, so when looking at full, full credit is 10 points. Uh, you get five points for your original post to the topic of your choice during the week. And the other five points come from two responses to your classmates' original posts during the week. So if you missed um, any of that, you might have been docked a point here or there. Also note that um, if your original post was not made by Friday of the week, that you may have been docked a point. Um, and if you're too responses to your classmates were not made to their original posts and if they didn't um, have some uh, depth and bulk to them and provide conversation starting material sometimes I dock a point there too so um, just note those things for week week two um, discussion as we jump into this week so I just wanted to highlight um, a few of the websites that you guys shared and some of the um, information that you shared uh, regarding different nutrients. Thank you very much. Um, you guys uh, did a great job discussing it. We did vitamin C, we did vitamin A, we did vitamin D. Um, let's see what else was there in our discussion there. Um, we had those of you that did that chose some really great vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin C, and vitamin K. So all great nutrients that you guys touched on. So thank you for doing that. Um, we also looked at a variety, balance, and moderation. So those three um, components are uh, important in healthy eating, just balanced eating. Um, whether that's during um, toddler years, whether that's during adolescent years, or whether we're adults, or whether we're pregnant. I mean, it, those those lessons of uh, variety, balance, and moderation apply throughout our lifespan. So um, there were definitely some good uh, websites that many of you posted. I don't have, I, not off the top of my head, I can't remember who, who posted each, but this one was one that I um, pulled up that it just gives a nice definition of variety balance and moderation, which you guys did a, a great job with that too. So um, eating a variety of food from each food groups helps you obtain all the nutrients required by the body. So if you're eating um, fruits and you're eating vegetables and you're eating proteins and you're eating grains and you're getting good fats, then um, you're likely getting all those macro and micronutrients that are that our body needs daily. So balance um, is too much or too little can be a bad thing, right? So we're balancing um, just the right amount. So our, our caloric needs essentially. So sometimes we need 2000 calories and other days maybe we need 1800 calories because we're not moving as much. Um, so we're balancing our intake to what our needs are during the day. And then, um, Again, moderation. Moderation is looking at, uh, often looking at portion sizes. So like eating a moderate amount of your, your steak is probably a good thing and not overindulging on a huge steak, but having moderate portion sizes of all the foods that you're choosing variety of. So, um, so that's kind of uh, the gist of balance, variety, and moderation. So thank you guys for um, discussing that. And I think culturally, you guys brought up some good points that we don't culturally uh, often have variety, balance, and moderation maybe um, in our food choices because perhaps um, availability is playing a role in the foods that we put on our plate. So sometimes that can change from culture to culture. So the food pyramid was also brought up. The food pyramid is old and we don't have the food pyramid anymore. But what we do have is my plate and that is put out by USDA. Um, I don't promote my plate just because I, I um, 
I find some flaws in it, but I don't think it's a bad tool either. So it's important for us to learn about it because it's taught in the text and it's out there for the public to use. But my plate is, um, let's see what, so we're looking at a simple version of my plate and what that plate looks like. Let me see if I can find an infographic for those that have not seen it. Um, what is my plate? Here it is. Here's our little plate here. Um, so what we see on the plate, I'm not doing a very good job of finding a picture of it, am I? So what we see on the plate, there's a small version. This is at choosemyplate.gov, so if you have interest in um, poking around there, you're more than welcome to. So our plate has vegetables and fruits, which compose half of our plate, and protein and grains on the other half, and dairy up in the corner. Um, I see flaws in this because it doesn't contain water, and it doesn't contain any physical activity during the day, and um, Lots of people don't do dairy, and dairy is not necessarily our only source of calcium. Um, but other than that, I, I think the idea is good, but I think there's some underlying issues as an infographic of what that's saying to different audiences. I don't know that it necessarily promotes moderation. It's hard to tell what moderation is from that plate, but we definitely have our variety. So um, my plate is a tool that is out there. Um, there's lots of different links here on um, choosemyplate.gov of each of those different food groups and what that means. So the food pyramid that was, um, here's my vegetarian plate. That's a, a nice one too. That one is from, where is that one from? The vegetarian resource group. And this was a link that one of um, your peers provided in their discussion. Here's our old pyramid, similar, this one's specific to children, but this is what the pyramid used to look like. All right, um, let me know if you have any questions about the discussion or your points that you received. Um, I've enjoyed reading over them and I will uh, try to participate and poke in the discussion this next week. Um, the first week I always kind of like to see what you guys come up with and how you do and um, you did a wonderful job. So take care. Happy Tuesday to each of you and um, email me if you come across any questions. All right.